I have tried to get others to see how important this disease is. I actually took a job at the University of Arizona in 1978. And at that time, very little in the state uh, was being done about valley fever. It was partly because no one was really focused on this disease that I thought it was an interesting problem to try to, to work on it. Two thirds of all US infections occur in our state. I suggested that the University of Arizona had a special responsibility to do something about this disease. So in 1996, the Arizona Board of Regents um, agreed that we should have a center, the Valley Fever Center for Excellence. Surprisingly, many times patients who should be tested for valley fever are not. A small percentage of people get really different disease. It doesn't just stay as a self-limited process. It continues to progress and can go through the bloodstream to other parts of the body. There are particular patients, one in particular, who had a genetic problem that uh, led to a terrible, terrible outcome. And the loss of that person to their family, um, and we couldn't help her. The whole question of why people get sick and others don't is really a fascinating question. And we now have tools to address that. And it's with tools that didn't exist back in 1978. And it's being done by people who know informatics and know genetics in ways that um, are just was not available. The other really exciting idea is that we might be able to prevent this disease with a vaccine. Others here at the Valley Fever Center have worked together to identify a gene that is critical to the fungus causing disease. We hope within a year that there'll be a product available to veterinarians to prevent valley fever in dogs. There's really no reason based on the biology that it couldn't also be developed uh, to protect humans. And that's a, a very exciting possibility. Collaboration is a wonderful thing. We formed the Valley Fever Collaborative to create the marketplace in the forum for uh, collaborations across the entire state. This, this collaboration means, I think, uh, there's momentum uh, that will continue. Things that couldn't be done 40 years ago now can be done. And they'll be done by people who are brand new to the field. To have this as something that people see as an option for what they do with their lives uh, really is very, very gratifying.